Alrighty guys, I figured since I already had all my stuff out that I would show you guys how to make the um, metal tubes too. A lot of people sell them um, and they're made with the PVC pipe. Um, but the biggest issue with me is I can never get them to cut the PVC pipe and I don't need that much. So I figured out another way to make it was using these um, air ducts, tin air ducts. This is actually one that can be um, twisted to 90 degrees angle, a 90 degree angle, but I actually like it straight tube like this. So let me take, take that off. But um, things you will need is the air duct tube. You will need washers, um, a bolt. This is just the regular bolt I had, and then the wing nuts as well. So. The seams for the air duct are right here, and I like to work at the very opposite end of it, so like this. Sorry. And to start off, I just take my washer, and I'll lay it right here, and then I'll draw a circle on the inside, on both sides, to know where to drill. Alrighty, so now that I've marked the holes, I, um, I go ahead and I drill. Um, same thing... Actually, yeah, same thing with the ledges. I just do one size smaller. Um, the drill bit, that is, is one size smaller than the um, the bolt. And please be careful. I know I said this in my other video, but especially when working with this, because when you drill it, it's not actually going to go through. It's going to, like, want to move around. So I should be wearing gloves because you might be... No, it's, it's not too bad. But um, usually people will cover this with fleece. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to, but if you do, just make sure, like, the edges aren't sharp. And, like, probably sand them out or put, like, a rimming around them. But I usually hold it like this, and then I'll drill through. I have to do it a couple of times, but, um, to ease it out, I take a, a sharp-ended hanger bolt like this, and I'll just, like, try to push as much as I can to center it. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what this looks like after I drill it. Also, another safety tip is to wear goggles while you're working with this because you don't want flying metal into your eye. But this is what it looks like. Um, you'll see these little hanging pieces. A little, they're more visible on the inside. But you're going to want to take um, something to clip them with. I just use nail clippers because it's easy to work with. And then you're going to want to take um, either a metal nail file. Metal nail files work the best. Um, to file it down so it's not sharp and it won't hurt your chin. Okay, so after you file it down and cut off the pieces, you're going to take your bolt right here, and from the inside, you're going to stick it through the hole, and then screw it to the other side, which is over here. Alrighty, so this is what it looks like after you've gotten the bolts through, and it is ready for hanging. Alright, sorry for the awful lighting over here. Um, I don't really have a very... I should have a light up there, but I don't. But anyways, this is what the final product looks like. I like to hang mine from the top, but you can hang it from the side and everything. Some people like to put fleece on them, and I'll probably get around to doing that eventually, but for now, it's not too bad. And these edges aren't... I don't, know, I don't think they're that sharp. But like I said, um, you can sand them down, or you can put like a trimming around them, which I think I will do. Mm, I like the fleece better, so we'll see. But... That is it. I'll give you guys, I'll show you guys the bottom because I think you guys already seen this top when I made a video and I need to vacuum. Yes, very dirty. I have to make fleece for them. And they made a mess. So I will do a video in the morning and introdu introduce you guys to them because the lighting right now is just terrible. Alrighty, thanks for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. Say bye, Floyd.